which you guys this tiny server is all you need it's from Zimmerblade and it will be released very soon it's in production right now it does have a decent processor in here which is the Celeron N3350 which is a dual core processor or you can buy the variant that does have the Celeron J3455 or E3950. The Zimmer Blade on its own comes in at $68. If you're looking to buy the NAS kit, that's going to cost you $144. That'll be the Zimmer Blade, a bunch of cables, and the actual uh, NAS uh, caddy, as well as a bit of memory as well, and the adapter. So inside the box for this particular unit on its own, you'd get your welcome card here, which is from Zimmer Blade themselves, which I think is a nice added touch. Also, you're going to get your user manual in here with some simple instructions on how to set it up. It does come pre-installed with Casa OS, which means you don't have to set anything up. You just have to plug it all in and uh, you'll basically be able to log straight into Casa OS. This is the actual device here. It's in its own little housing here, uh, but there you've got your expansion slot here. It's only PCI Express 2.0 times 4, which should be plenty for what you're going to be putting in there. Also, you've got your two SATA on there and your power inside there as well for your power adapter. On this side here, you've got your mini uh, DP port, also your one gigabit Ethernet port, a USB 3.0 port, and your Type-C input there as well, which supports power, data, and display. Uh, but the USB 3.0 does have five GPPS uh, super speeds on it as well. The outer casing is made of aluminium, which means it's going to be passively cooled. There's no fans or anything inside here, which means it's going to be ideal and nice and quiet. Inside the box, if you just bought the unit on its own, you would get this cable here, which is your SATA and power. And also you can plug in whatever you like there. And you've got your Type-C cable here. There's loads of optional extras which you can buy. And you can also buy other kits with this. I've been sent a care package by zimmer blade so really much appreciate that i'll show you some of the things you can do but to remove the uh the actual casing here this is the case for it you just unclip this and then you can remove all of this and add in some memory it will take up to uh, 16 gigabytes at 1600 megahertz so you can buy kits with the memory as well if you bought a nas kit uh, you will be able to uh, put the 16 gigabytes of ram in there and I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple and easy to do because that's what I'm going to be setting up here is a NAS server for you so you can see. Now, let me just undo these two screws, and this will allow us to pull off the actual plastic housing here. Now, again, there is no fans. It's completely silent because it's passively cooled. And uh, once we open this up, you should gain access to the actual Zimmer blade here. Right here, we can see there is a slot there, a single slot for your memory. And I will be adding that in in a second. The CPU, as you would guess, would be on the bottom underneath where that actual aluminium uh, backing is. And that's what it will uh, dissipate the heat and keep it nice and cool. And uh, once you uh, put the memory in, you will be having an added 16 gigabytes. And this is what they've given me here in the kit. So I'm just going to be adding this in like so. Just the same as uh, any other device that you clip in. And then push down just like a, a say for instance a laptop or a mini pc you just clip that into position once we've got that done we can put all that back on and we can then uh, get this powered up and you can see exactly what it looks like and what you're going to get for your money now you can do a ton of different things with these and with that added memory in here now the zimmer blade is more capable of running multiple dockers on here and this is going to be great so i'm going to be using this double uh, version here and this is because i want to add two uh, 3.5 uh, drives on here so it does come with all the connectors so if you want to get the NAS pack you can do and this will allow you to put in two three and a half inch drives into this as well there's other expansions on here which you can use with NVMe and other things like that I'll show you that a little bit later on you can also add in more uh, USB ports on here if you want to do with expansion uh, cards but this is the actual NAS cage here that we're going to be using and basically, we're going to slot in our two three and a half inch drives in here, and the actual uh, Zimmer blade will sit on top. So, very nice little unique thing. It's got some anti slip rubber feet on the bottom here, and it will screw in from the side so the drives will be nice and secure. So, let's go ahead and get this set up here. So, what I've got here is I've already uh, plugged these into the drives here, the two cables here. And all I need to do next is slide these into the actual uh, drive cage here. So, let's just go ahead and uh, slot this in so this is what's going to be our nas basically so we're going to have two drives on the 
uh, inside here. Now, these could be larger drives if you want to put large drives in here for plenty of storage, you can do. But once we've done these, we can push the cables into the actual Zimmer blade here, just like so. And this will live and sit on top. And uh, basically, you just got yourself a very affordable uh, NAS. Now, of course, whether you're setting this up for Plex Media Server, Jellyfin, or whether you want to have some sort of home cloud server, you can do where you can do file sharing and things like that with your friends and family. You can set this up as you like. You can fix the uh, drives in by just putting the screws in here. That does come in the kit, and this will make sure the uh, drives are not moving about. Uh, but this is only a temporary setup. But basically, you would be able to locate those and tighten those down, and the drives will stop moving around here. You still got access to the PCI Express slot on there, and also the ports on the back, which is your Ethernet and your USB Type C and a mini display there. If you want to uh, plug those into maybe a monitor or something like that, you can do. And there's loads of uh, things that you can do with these particular types of uh, devices, and they're very affordable as well. Now, the PCI Express slot can be used for many different things like USB ports, extra USB ports, extra Ethernet ports. Whether you want to add another four Ethernet ports on here, you can do. Whether you want to add in, uh, say, extra drive slots on here, maybe NVMe drives, or maybe you want to convert from a DP to uh, HDMI or DP to a larger DP cable, you can do. There's loads of things you can do on these little devices, and they can come with extra expansion cards that you can buy either off Amazon or you can go on their website and buy a bigger kit that comes with all of these things. Now, if I wanted to turn this little mini DP uh, port here into a HDMI port, you just plug that in there and it will convert it. Very simple and easy to do. And that way you could just plug that into a HDMI if you only have an HDMI uh, device. That makes that super simple. And again, on the side here, the expansion slot, as I've mentioned, you can plug stuff in here that will give you loads of expansion uh, to maybe more drives. For instance, you could have something like this where you can plug this in and this will give you NVMe, uh, two NVMe's on here. And you can also have extra uh, Ethernet ports on here by adding in an expansion card. This will just slot in here like so, and you would set it up and then you would just put your drives in and it will be that simple and you'd be adding more drives. I know it doesn't look that stable, but it is basically what these little devices are for. And uh, once you've got it all uh, rigged up, uh, it is going to be a bit of a Frankenstein compared to, say, for instance, a Synology NAS or, for instance, a uh, QNAP or something like that. But remember, those devices are very, very expensive compared to something like the uh, Zimmer Blade, which is only $68. And again, if you was buying all of this sort of stuff, you're looking at uh, $140, which is a lot cheaper. You'd obviously have to buy your own drives which again would bump the price up. But again, you could do the same thing with, uh, say for instance, Synology or any of the other devices that are out there on the market. Now, you can connect to your Zimmer by using either the Mac OS client or the Windows client if you wish, or you can just log in by the IP address if you know how to find your IP address for that device that is plugged into your network. And you should see something looking like, welcome to CAS OS. Set up your account. All you need to do here is put in your details that you want to use and uh, give yourself a, some details here. And then basically you'll be good to go admin and put your password in and uh, make sure it's nice and secure because it is going onto your network. And once you set this up, you're good to go. And this is what you can expect to see once you've got this set up. You'll have this and this is your CAS OS. And again, you can see the CPU usage here and the uh, RAM usage. And we also have our drives uh, uh, populated here. And we can format these and set these up for whatever we like. You can sync to your data here. You've got the App Store as well. And if you click on the App Store, there is plenty of stuff inside here. But let me just quickly show you up the top here for the settings. This is all the settings area here. You can make some changes in here to suit yourself, whether it be language and things like that. Uh, you can set this up inside this area here. I really do like the way this is uh, set up for people that are just new to uh, networking you could just plug this into your local network put your ip address in there and log in and you'll get access to casa os and this will then give you access to a ton of applications that you can install like jellyfin home assistant uh, the list goes on uh, you know photo prism there is quite a few uh, applications that might interest you here which you can set up on here deluge and you've also got Handbrake here. Uh, there's a load of good stuff on here, like Plex, Pile, Nextcloud, 
you can see there is some really good stuff on here which you can easily set up uh, with uh, Caso OS and with this device. Again, these are going to be your files. This is going to be your uh, documents, downloads, gallery, and media, and things like that as well. And if you want to set up, say, for instance, PFSense on here or Umraid, you can do. It's very simple and easy to do. All you need to do here is once you've logged in, you can do whatever you like. It's your device. You can set it up exactly how you like for whatever you want to do, whether it be for streaming or whatever it is that you want to do on your home local network. And again, it's a great little device and it's very affordable. Now, I'm not going to go too in depth here, but what we're going to do is I'll just quickly install a uh, application here so you'll be able to see. And all we'll do is go into the app store here and I'll go down and I'll just install uh, one of these so you can see basically how quick and easy uh, it is to install. So if you're on a super tight budget as well, these sort of devices are really uh, affordable. And once you get your drives and plug them in, you're going to have yourself a very affordable home server or NAS server if you want to. And it's really a, a good way to get started uh, at a very affordable price as well, because some of those other devices you see out there with some of those other big name brands are quite expensive. And it's quite a commitment for a lot of people, whereas this is much more affordable. And it's that simple. You can just install Plex just like this, open it up, and you can see how quick it's loading. And then just put your details in, sign up, and uh, start putting your media on there, and away you go. You're good to go. And again, you don't just have to run Plex on here. You can run different applications on here, just like you could with any other NAS server, if you set it up for that. Very simple. If you're interested in seeing more, on the Zimmer Blade, then let me know in the comments section below what you want to see with the Zimmer Blade, and I'll be happy to make that video for you and get it all set up to show you step by step on how to get things set up. It's quite easy to do, but if you want to see more on here, let me know uh, in the comments section, and I'll be quite happy uh, to do that for you. Now, let me just quickly show you the uh, crowdfunding site because this will be released, it's already reached its targets. And they will put this into production and it will be released just like the Zimmer board was. Uh, this is the new Zimmer blade. And again, this will be released to the general public very, very soon. And uh, once you get that, I will leave a link for this in the video description. Uh, but basically, you can see here they do quite a bit of information on here, which you can go through and read the specifications on here. They do quite a few different bundles that come in at different prices. And again, starting off with the Zimmer Blade 3760 is only $64. And you can move on to the Zimmer Blade 7700, which is going to boost your power with the quad core Zimmer Blade. And again, you can move on down and go for even more advanced stuff here with extra add ons on here. Or you can purchase your own expansion cards to plug into that PCI Express slot, like uh, Ethernet ports and USB ports and other things like uh, NVMe drives and stuff like that you can plug them straight in anyway but that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i'll catch you in the very next video thanks again for watching and uh, thanks for my youtube supporters i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the next video bye for now